Thanks for following the Tigers. This is here for Final score today at Finley Stadium is Falcon winning over Camus with 69 to 51. Head coach Perry report. Thomas joins us. Coach, now, you had a great to start to today, just Campbell not able Field to finish University this one against Fort Network. Yeah, I mean, we was playing against a very good football team, and uh, you know, we told our guys at halftime that you know they're more athletic than us, and, and they're more experienced than us, and we can't slip up and make mistakes. And you know, it's not so much I thought our guys came out and played flat in the second half. It's just that we made those mistakes that that you can't make, and they exported those mistakes and. Uh, you know, and got the win. The big concern I would have to say coming away from this today is uh, a lot of injuries for the Campbellsville Tigers. Uh, Faulkner banged up as well. This was a hard-fought game today. Yeah, very physical game, and we have some injuries. Obviously, we got to address. Fortunately, we have an off week this week, so uh, we'll practice, but we'll be able to baby those guys and hopefully get them back going, some of them. And, um, you know, but it was a physical game, and, you know, Faulkner got a little banged up too. Uh, uh, but that's Miss South Conference football, especially when you get into league play. And, you know, we have some good athletes, and uh, they have some good athletes, and you're going to have some collisions. 34-20 at halftime, the, the Tigers led Faulkner. Uh, what was it like at halftime getting ready for the second half with that 14-point lead? Well, you know, I thought our guys were focused. We went in and made some adjustments, and I, and, and you know, drove home the point of continuing to play with guts and find a way to win. And I thought our guys were focused. And, you know, the second half, things start falling apart in my mind defensively. Uh, on that first series, we get a stop. And then on third down, we get a face mask penalty. And, you know, like I said all year, we're not good enough or mature enough to overcome those type of mistakes. And every time we get a defensive penalty on third or fourth down, the other team has eventually scored on that drive. So we're getting off the field right there to set the tone on offense. Right. And instead, we give them a first down. They go on with a big pass downfield and score. And uh, things start changing there defensively, I thought. Your injury started settling in in the second half of and we're not talking about uh, maybe a uh, second stringer. We're talking about uh, Zarek Willis, uh, Tyus Alcorn, uh, a long list. Uh, Torres Boyd goes out early in this game today, too. Yeah, we had, we had a lot of Tyler Bias. You know, he's our starting secondary guy went out, and uh, Torres Boyd went out, and then uh, Zarek down, and Jacob Lamb, you know, couldn't finish the game. So we had a lot of guys banged up. Um, and things that we have to address. But, but that's football. You know, the NAI rules are really tough and strict on how you can replace kids. So we, some of those guys, because they will be back this year, we won't be able to replace. Uh, so hopefully we'll get them healed up in time to play the next game. Well, this is a real bittersweet number, but Hunter Brown sets the school record for passing today, 618 yards. Yeah, I mean, that's a great game for him. I thought we had some big plays. And, you know, we scored 50 points or 51 points. And anytime you score it, you should be winning games. Uh, you know, first half, I felt like we could continue to score. And, and, and you just can't make those mistakes. And we made some mistakes offensively, too, that hurt us. You know, the 21 points they had, like I said, came off a turnover. So we um, we can't shoot ourselves in the foot. But, you know, Hunter had a big game. Some of the receivers stepped up and had a big game. And I thought first half we played lights out on defense. Um, but we couldn't finish. This is a critical game, a critical loss, and the fact that this is a West Division game today. You're starting defensive. You're actually your your back-to-back -back titles, 2014 and 2015. Yeah, I mean it's a big game for us, and uh, we're in the hole now. So we're really in the hole, and we was like this a couple of years ago. I don't know if people remember we went down come to university and lost a, a league game, and and was able to come back and and and, and rewind and get the victory. I mean the uh, title. Uh, but we got a lot of work to do if we want championships this year. You know these guys have got to grow up. It's that simple. You know we can coach them up, and they can respond. On, but at some point they have to get it done in the game and what concerns me is we're not getting it done after we make those mistakes that cause us issues so we got to have some leadership to step up on that defensive side of the ball uh, so we can get some victories coach uh, an open date coming probably at a pretty good time yeah yeah we need it you know we need it we need to get banged up we need to get our psyche back a little bit after today uh you know we got to get the guys back in into it you know this is a tough loss to them mentally because it's one they felt like got away from us uh, so we got uh, some work to do. Two weeks from today, you'll be back at home for homecoming. Uh, things don't get any easier going into today's action. Uh, your next opponent, uh, Bethel, undefeated. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're a tough team, and, and it'll be that way all the way up to the end of the season, you know. So there's no off weeks. You, know, you just got to come out and get it done. And that's what I told the defense out there before we left the field. It's like, look, at some point, you know, there's only so much we can do. We're going to coach our butts off, and, and you guys are playing your butts off. But at some point, it has to click that we have to do our job every time. We can't make mistakes, um, and, and that's just the way we are. It's unfortunate, but we uh, we can't mis make mistakes right now on defense because we can't take advantage of uh, or we can't recoup after we make those mistakes. So we just have to play perfect football. 
Coach, we'll look forward to two weeks from today. We appreciate your time as always. Thank you, sir. And Coach Perry Thomas and the Tigers falling today here at home. Faulkner wins over Campbellsville 69 to 51. Our Tiger postgame report continues in a moment. We invite you to stay connected. You're following the Tigers. This is the Campbellsville University Sports Network.